When I first started going through the flashbacks and remembering everything that had happened to me, I didn't want to live anymore. Swimming's different than any other sport. There's a sense of peace that I've never experienced anywhere else. Growing up, I just have had so much passion for sports. Sports were my everything. I was so excited to go to junior high school. And I heard they had this young, really fun PE teacher. Julie Correa was the girls' PE teacher in junior high school. She was athletic, outgoing. She was more of our friend, I would say, than a teacher. Did Julie treat Kristen differently? Yeah, you knew Kristen was a special one. She would let me stay afterwards and shoot three-pointers with her. We just became kind of buddies. And that's when she really, like, sunk her teeth in. Julie, she was just everywhere, surprising me places. She would come into my house and be hiding under my bed when I would go up to my bedroom at night. Like, she literally was yeah. under your bed? Yeah. I just felt this grab around my ankles. I like lost my breath and like shook. And she abused me in like every way she could have. I was just paralyzed with fear. It's just the scariest thing in the world to have someone you trust and respect and admire betray you. So who was Mr. Witters? Mr. Witters was a science teacher at my middle school. Mr. Witters would tell me that I was special and he would touch me um, through my clothes and under my clothes. How old were you? I was about 13 at the time. It was absolutely incredible that you had two teachers at the same middle school sexually abusing students. Mr. Witters started touching me in seventh grade. Did you confide in anyone that this was going on? No. I've lived most of my life trying to forget what happened. It was a big and scary secret that I had been able to black out for more than 10 years. I was like a wreck. I didn't know if I could weather the storm of what had happened. The only way I got through it was with Scott. It was just hard because you knew how much pain there was for her. I was shaking in bed at night and having nightmares, not able to eat. Then Scott said, I love you, we're gonna get through this. We have two options. We can find her and kill her or we can go to police.